Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, Senior Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and this is Gospel Talk, where we get to discuss the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that is plain and understandable. There are no two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives. And the Bible says, thy righteousness are as filthy rags. The gospel of Jesus Christ is called good news. So our bodies receive life from the Spirit. Hi, praise the name of Jesus Christ. This is Gospel Talk. And my name is Pastor Maurice Gashero from Jubilee Christian Church, Thicker Road. Together with uh, my wife, Pastor Pauline Gashero, we are bringing you Gospel Talk. This is where we get to discuss the Word of God in a way that can be understood. Today we are talking about the book of John. We want to discuss the book of John, chapter 11. And today's topic is belief, belief. Because when you look at the book of John chapter 11, the word believe or believes or believing is repeated several times. And the miracle, the book of John 11 is about one miracle. Yeah, it's giving us the context, the background, the uh just the drama and the intrigues within you know before and after that miracle all right so is what we are going to be looking at and we want to discuss believing pastor pauline welcome thank you yes <laughs> so the book of john centers around a man called lazarus the bible says now a certain man was sick Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. And the Bible tells us that this family and this man especially was a friend of Jesus Christ. He was a friend because the Bible says that Jesus responded in, if you look at verse 11, he said, our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go to wake him up. So Jesus was say, was given a message. Somebody was sent to deliver a message to Jesus and tell him, your, your friend Lazarus is, is sick, is very sick. And Jesus responded and he said that this sickness is not unto death. Then two days later, Jesus delayed wherever he was. Two days later, he went, but he got there four days. He got there late and uh, he, he, you know, he got there after he had been buried. Of course, they used to bury very quickly mm. those days. But uh, <clears throat> the Bible says uh, that Jesus did not go immediately. Okay? He took time before he went to pray for Lazarus. Mm. And then he was sent a message again mm. that Lazarus has died. Yeah. Okay? But now, Jesus is, verse 11, where we have read, yeah? verse uh, 11, he says mm -hmm. he sleeps, and then he says in verse 14, he is dead. Mm. Okay? So, in verse 14, the Bible says he's debating with his disciples, mm. and he's telling his disciples, let us go to where Lazarus was. And they had an issue because mm. Jesus had been threatened. They wanted to stone him in Bethany. All right? Mm -hmm. But now the disciples in verse 12 says, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get well. Yeah. Okay? Mm. So he says, he says, our friend Lazarus is sick. Mm. And then he says, he sleeps. So if he sleeps, he will wake up. He mm. will get well. Leave him. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but that he thought, they thought that he was speaking about taking a rest in sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Nona. Then Jesus said to them plainly, mm. Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sake. This is a very interesting statement. I was not there that you may believe. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. let us go to him. All right? So this is the first place in this particular story mm -hmm. that Jesus is talking about believing. And he is saying the reason that he is glad that he did not go immediately and that his friend is dead is so that his disciples mm -hmm. might believe. He wanted to use that aspect, mm -hmm. that incident mm -hmm. of Lazarus' death to cause them to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, when I read the Bible, especially New Testament, the Gospels, mm -hmm. especially the Gospels, because in the Gospels, people are not born again. Mm. We see that these signs were done so mm. that you might believe. In the book of John, we've discussed again and again, if you do not believe what I tell you, mm -hmm. believe the works. That I do. Yeah, mm. these works. Okay? Mm. So we find that the major goal of Jesus mm. in the Gospels, because the Gospels are about Christ mm. and his life and his earthly ministry, mm. The goal is to bring people to a place, to bring people to a place of believing. Mm. Okay? So here he's telling them, mm -hmm. he's saying, I am glad I was not there so that you might believe. Okay? Mm. Well, what is it about believing? What's the difference between believing and faith? And how important is believing? Mm -hmm. Okay, for us to believe or for people to believe, mm -hmm. how important is it? Oh, to believe is, uh, is very, very important because one cannot act, yeah? One cannot have faith on what they have not believed. Yeah. One first has to believe. Yeah. And to, be, to believe is to be convic convinced, mm. you understand? In a, into a place where now even the thought processes Mm. of a person have been changed as per the information mm. that has been projected that someone might believe in. You understand? So it is a, there has to be a conviction for somebody to believe. Mm. And without that conviction and without that believing, it is not possible for somebody to act, okay, or somebody to have faith on what they have not believed. So when you're talking about believing, you're talking about being convinced. Mm. Yeah, that's important. Mm. It's, it's a is a persuasion about yeah, persuasion, something yeah. about a person. Mm. Okay, so we see that the definition of believing is mm. to be persuaded. Yes. Okay. Mm. The and to be convinced. Yes. Okay. To mm. obtain a stand. Mm. To obtain a clarity mm. about conviction mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so you believe about something mm -hmm. you believe about certain words mm -hmm. you believe somebody mm -hmm. so jesus wanted he, the disciples mm -hmm. to believe in him mm -hmm. why because this is the team that is going to use to begin preaching the gospel yes and it's very important for them to be persuaded he's very important for them to be convinced about the one that mm -hmm. they will go to all over the world uh, preaching mm. or talking about. All right? Mm -hmm. If people are not convinced and persuaded about Christianity, mm. then you find that people are pushed to and fro. Yes. People are, uh, can easily be, uh, be swayed. People can easily give up their faith, mm. even... Uh, in in the midst of a little convenience, inconvenience, yes, you get. But mm. these are people who died for their faith mm -hmm. because of the level of their belief, mm. their conviction, their persuasion. They believed that there is life mm -hmm. after death. They believed in salvation. Mm. They believed the reality of the words of Christ. Mm. So that even the challenges they went through, they were able to go through them mm -hmm. and stand and persevere because they believed. Mm. They believed in Christ. They believed that Christ was together with them. They believed that in the words that they were preaching. You understand? Mm -hmm. So anyway, 
we continue here we see that Jesus speaks to them he says I'm glad for your sakes mm. that I am not there that you may believe mm-hmm. you get yes, yeah. so he's telling them I'm happy I didn't even go mm. to heal him before he died I'm with, uh, I'm glad that uh, we had to wait for him to die yeah, yeah. for your sake <laughs> for your, not for his sake but for them okay mm. so you find that God uses certain situations mm-hmm. all right mm. he is not the cause of the situation yeah the bible says all things work together for good yes he is not the author of sickness no he is not but when sickness came mm-hmm. and death mm. he used it to make people believe mm-hmm. so there are things that people go through and God performs miracles mm-hmm. and God turns the situations around mm-hmm. and God delivers them mm-hmm. the reason is sometimes not for themselves sometimes the people that are observing or the people that know them mm. are the be- direct beneficiaries mm. in terms of belief okay when mm. people look at somebody who was in a particular situation Yeah they trust and they believe in their god if this person was able to go through that mm. and overcome and that's why testimonies are there mm. and that is why testimonies are important because testimonies cause others to believe yes so Lazarus was brought back to life mm. but the mm. disciples believed yes and obtain a belief that would be very important mm-hmm. for them to stand with Jesus mm. during the time of his ministry and later mm-hmm. okay so we see there in uh, chapter 14 uh, verse 14 mm-hmm. that God uses mm-hmm. this situation to make uh, to mm-hmm. make the disciples mm-hmm. believe mm-hmm. okay So now we go to stu- uh, to verse 20 says now Martha as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming mm-hmm. went and met him mm-hmm. okay but Mary was sitting in the house mm-hmm. now mother said to Jesus lord if you had been here my brother would not have died mm-hmm. so these are the kinds of people mm-hmm. who believe that God is able to stop something mm-hmm. all right that yeah. if you are here you could have So yeah. her attitude was like now that you are here what can you do Yeah he is too late mm. he's dead and buried mm. okay the, the the situation is too far gone is mm. is too far i mean mm. there's nothing you can do but if you had come a bit earlier Yeah it would have helped yeah, you, you get <laughs> mm. they draw limits for god what mm. god can do mm. this thing is too bad it's gone too far this mm. thing is now you know beyond redemption beyond repair beyond salvage mm. okay and this is what you know of course mother said mm. but even now i know whatever you ask god god will give you oh, no, no. Mm. so you see uh, jesus said to her your brother will rise again because if you read that statement you think that mother thinks that Jesus will raise Lazarus from the dead. Mm. It's until Jesus speaks the next statement and says, "Mother, your brother will rise again." Mm-hmm. So Martha said to him, mm. "I know that he will rise again in the resurrection mm. at the last day." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you getting? Mm. So the the statement here verse 22 that even now mm-hmm. whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Mm. So there are things that people say but they don't take them literally. Yeah. They think if they know God can but not in this specific yeah. situation. So Mary said uh, uh I a mother. Mm. Mother said whatever you ask God mm. God will give you. Then Jesus tells her your brother will will rise again. He said master I know <laughs> he will rise in the resurrection. Mm. She has just said, mm. I believe mm. there is nothing God cannot give you. Mm. That if you ask God anything, mm. he will give you. Then Jesus tells her, mm. Mm. your brother will rise again. And she goes and says, I know. I know but Are not you now. <laughs> so it's important for us mm. to come to a place and talk to God, all right? Mm-hmm. And pray. Mm-hmm. 
and speak to God yeah, based on what we take literally possible. Mm. Are you getting? Mm. Because she was talking to Jesus mm. something that she was just saying cliche. It, uh, yeah, it's a cliche, a me mental ascent. Mental it's ascent. Just, yeah. But she did not take it as a reality. No. So Jesus mm. uh, tells her, you, your brother, we rise again. And she says, oh yes, in the resurrection, in the last days, one day, one time. <laughs> because you know, when she's talking about in the future, that keeps somebody in a safe, in a safe space because it's in the future, you yeah, know. There's no commitment. <laughs> there's no commitment. There's no faith commitment. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. There's no faith commitment. I know yeah. in the future, and many people, uh, they, they they say, uh, I know God can heal, and I know one day hmm. that He will heal me. Yeah. But they do not have that conviction that that day they are talking about it's can be now. today, can be that now. that particular time. Yeah. But they feel safe. Mm. Like you're saying commitment, when they say, oh, me, I know that God heals. Me, mm. I know that God can do anything. And I even know that he's going to heal me. Mm. But I know that one day, so they don't even point to the day that they believe that God is going to heal them. And that day is today. Is You see, mm. they, they are using very interesting words here. Mm. It says, mm. whatever you ask God, mm. God will give you. He will. Mm. Not can. Mm. He will. Because even in healing, I've, 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 in praying for people, I've experienced, mm. you're talking to people mm. and people say they believe God can. Oh, yeah. So you have to bring people or mm. to bring yourself mm -hmm. to that place where you're not just believing God can, mm. but you're believing God will. Yes. Mm. All right? Mm. So... Mother said, God will give you. Mm. And Jesus responds with the same will. Mm. Say, your brother will rise, rise again. Yeah. So he doesn't say, your brother can rise again. Mm -mm. Because people say, yeah, I, yeah, God, no. can, in a second, no. God can do it. it. Uh, anything can happen. Mm. Yes, it can. But do you mm. believe it will? Yes. That's now the persuasion we are talking about. Mm. How do I know that these, these people are not persuaded? Mm -hmm. Although... She said, mm. God will give you whatever you ask. Mm. It's the next statement. Mm. Okay. Mm. After she said, I know he will rise in the resurrection. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Mm -hmm. He who believes in me, mm. though he can, he, he may, may die, die, he shall live. So Jesus mm -hmm. is turning focus. Mm -hmm of Martha mm -hmm. not believing the miracle mm -hmm. that Lazarus mm -hmm. will rise again, but believing the person mm. who is to perform the miracle. Mm. You understand? Mm. Our faith or belief is God-centered. It's yeah. God-focused. Mm. Believe in me. Mm. If you believe in me, the works I do you shall do also. Yes. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Mm. They shall cast out devils. Mm. You get? So believing is supposed to be towards Christ. Mm -hmm. This is a very <clears throat> important lesson mm. on belief, mm. believing. Okay? Mm. That believing is knowing it will happen. Mm. It will happen. Not it can. No, it will. It can is mental. Mm. God can do. Yes. But you make it now. Yes. You make it emphatic. Mm. You make it, uh, uh, it becomes a conviction. Mm. All right? God will, will do, it. do it. All right? So believing is centered on Christ. Mm. All right? Though you may, he may die, he shall live. Mm. And whoever lives and believes in me okay mm -hmm. shall never die okay mm. and then jesus asks her ask, asks her mm -hmm. do you believe this <laughs> yeah okay mm. do you believe mm -hmm. that i am the, the resurrection and the life mm. and who believes in me mm. will never die do you believe this mm. do you believe yeah he who lives mm -hmm. Whoever lives and believes in me mm. shall never die. 
Mm-hmm. You get? Mm-hmm. So he's turning mother towards believing in him. I'm here. Mm. I am the resurrection mm. and I'm the life. I am the one. I'm the miracle. Mm. I'm not just doer of miracle. I'm the miracle. Mm. I have the power. I'm the So this is what Martha, Jesus is telling Martha. Mm-hmm. Okay? So she said to him, "Jesus, yes, Lord." I believe that you are the Christ mm. the son of God who is to come into the world. Mm. See I'm convinced now. Mm. I'm persuaded. Mm. I'm 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 yeah. you see mm. so the, the issue here in mm. verse 27 is mm. not about the miracle now mm. it's not even about Lazarus. Mm. So she did not say uh, Lord I believe my brother will rise. No no. The focus has come from Lazarus will rise to Christ. Mm. I believe you are the Christ. Mm. It says believe in me. Mm. Martha, believe in me. Mm. All right? Then it says Lord, I believe that mm. you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Are you getting? Mm-hmm. So you find Christianity mm. is not just believing dogmas mm. or sets of rules. Mm. All right? It becomes legalistic. Yes. All right? And that's mm. why people stay a lot in arguments. Mm. But be- believing in a person. Mm. Christianity, our relationship with God is centered on faith or belief mm-hmm. in a person. Mm-hmm. The person of Jesus Christ mm. that he died for us. He suffered and died for us. He rose again on the third day. Mm. And what he's doing in us, we mm. believe he, li- he lives in us. He has given us life. Mm. So it is f- convictions and persuasions that are directed towards a person, mm-hmm. the person of Jesus Christ. Mm. You get? Mm. Because these others are intellectual. They are very mental. They are very, yeah. you know, mm. intellectual. Mm. Let me say that. Mm. All right. Mm. But real faith or believing mm. is towards Christ. Yes. Mm. You understand? Mm. And that is how we are to live. Mm. That is uh, 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 how we are to to do it. Mm. Praise God. Mm-hmm. So that's very very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are going to take a break. and then we'll be back in a minute mm. yes as we continue god bless you remember to like comment subscribe on youtube and uh, remember to share god bless you see you in a minute jesus christ my name is pastor morris gashero senior pastor jubilee christian church thika road and this is gospel talk where we get to discuss the gospel of jesus christ in a way that is plain and understandable There are not two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives. And the Bible says thy righteousness are as filthy rags. The gospel of Jesus Christ is called good news. So our bodies receive life from the spirit Hi praise the name of Jesus welcome back this gospel talk uh, we are talking about belief and we say here that Jesus was turning mother's attention mm-hmm. towards the thing that was troubling her that is the death of the brother to Christ all right Yeah to Christ. So that's where we stopped. Mm. Let's continue and I'm going to skip because it's a long chapter. Mm-hmm. Uh the Bible says again, let me just read from verse 28. Mm-hmm. And when she had said these things, she went away. Mm-hmm. All right? So what has she said? She has said that I believe. Yes. So she has said I believe. Mm. She goes away. Mm. Okay? So number one, we have seen Christ talking mm-hmm. to his disciples. Mm. This 
is for your sake that you might believe. Yes. Then he goes and meets mother. Yeah, Martha, yeah. Say, Martha, believe in me. Mm. Then mother says, I believe. believe. So mother goes, mm. all right? Mm. Uh, and she, uh, uh, after th she had said these things, mm. she went her way and secretly called her uh, Mary, her sister, saying, mm. teacher, the teacher has come and mm. is calling you. As soon now, remember, she's she's not given her the lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, that Jesus has just taken care, taken her through of believing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Mary, as mm -hmm. soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, mm -hmm. but was in the place where Martha met him. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the Jews who were with her in the house mm -hmm. and comforting her when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and she went out followed her saying she's going to the tomb to weep there all right then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him she fell down at his feet mm -hmm. saying to him Lord if you have been here my brother would not have died it seems like this ladies <laughs> had said if Jesus was, was here yeah. there must have been a conversation there was a conversation mm. because she repeats exactly, exactly the same sentiment. sentiments yes, as Martha. that mother had expressed mm. if you have been here my brother would not have died mm. so therefore when Jesus saw her weeping mm. and the Jews who came with her weeping he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and he said where have you laid him you see, now Jesus does not tell her mm. what he told the sister. mother. Mm. Okay? Then they say to him, Lord, come and see. Okay? Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. So that what Jesus wept mm -hmm. has been, people have explained the reason, and I don't want to get into that. Yeah. Why he wept, wept mm. all right? There are those who say he wept because he loved Lazarus. Mm. And those are the Jews there. Mm -hmm. Look at how he loved Lazarus. Mm. There are those who say that Jesus, theologians, mm. they say that Jesus wept because of the unbelief. And I would that think that the unbelief part carries more, <laughs> more weight. <Yeah. laughs> you understand? Mm. So, you know, he groaned in his spirit and then wept mm. because of the unbelief. Mm. that was around there yes okay mm. and then and some of them said mm. could not this man mm -hmm. who opened the eyes of the blind mm -hmm. also have kept this man from dying mm. are you seeing the argument of the jews mother and mary mm. if you had been here it would not, not have, have happened. happened yeah okay mm -hmm. so now the jews are like this man couldn't stop this man from dying so mm. their view is preventive yeah their view of god and the view of christ mm. is is preventive that god's power mm. is preventive prevent something things some things from happening and mm. which is okay which is yeah and he i does agree that, and yeah. i believe in that mm. but they, they their view of christ mm. has not come from the place of prevention mm -hmm. to a place of restoration yeah. to a place where that even that which has has gone beyond limit in their perception mm -hmm. and in their view mm -hmm. Jesus can work with it mm. all right Jesus can make it can mm. restore it mm. okay so he's dealing with that kind of atmosphere and scenario mm. and context where apart from mother who he has just engaged and mother said okay I believe the rest was the rest were like even the mourners mm. couldn't he stop them the the, the death mm -hmm. couldn't he heal him before he died couldn't mm. he prevent these from things from deteriorating mm. or going down uh, uh, this far mm. all right so now jesus responds let's continue then jesus again groaning in him mm. you see he has picked what is going on here yeah all right mm. because they have said they have you know they, they did not think they said mm. yeah all right mm. so jesus groaned in him mm. self came to the tomb it was a cave 
and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Mm -hmm. Now, mother, the sister of him who was dead said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench for he has been dead four days. So you remember mother is the one who has just said, I believe Yes. That you are the Christ, yes. the Son of the Living God, mm. who is to come into the world after our conversation. Yes, this was our say, time. mother, believe. Mm. He who believes in me, mm. so she just walked out and said, "I believe." Mm. So now Jesus goes to perform the miracle. Jesus said, "Your brother will live again." So my question is, how did she expect it to happen without the tomb being open? Are you getting? Mm. So this, we are dealing with the struggles of mm. believing. And that's what I call them, the intrigues of faith. Yeah. The intrigues of believing. Yeah, the, uh, the person, uh, person tra uh, having, allowing the word of God to persuade them. Yeah, she, she had not been persuaded as yet. You see, mm. the persuasion, there are degrees mm. of persuasion. Yes. We are dealing with degrees of persuasion. Mm. Because they were persuaded Jesus could heal Lazarus. Mm. And that's why they sent for him. Mm. Yeah. That was a degree, the first step mm. of persuasion that mm. he will heal him. Mm -hmm. yeah, because they had a reference. Okay. Mm. But now when he comes, mm. their mind is still at that. If you had been here, yeah. Yeah. if you came when we called you, <laughs> my brother would not have died. died. Because their perception is still preventive. Mm. That is mm. their degree of perception. And they are believers you meet mm. and you talk and you hear. They have a limit of their perception mm -hmm. as to what God can do. Mm. They are believers. They love God mm. genuinely. But their view of what can be done mm. is limited. Mm. These were his friends. All right. Mm. But now Jesus comes and says, your brother will live again. Now that's a challenge. Mm. It says, yes, I know she, he will live again in the resurrection. Mm. So Jesus takes her through a mini sermon, a mini <laughs> a sermonette, conference, yes. a 10-minute sermonette. sermonette, and yes. tells her mm. a revelation of reality and truth. They say, listen, mother, mm -hmm. he who believes in me shall not die. Mm. I am the resurrection in the life. Mm -hmm. You know me as my your friend, but I'm the resurrection mm -hmm. and the life. Whoever believes in me shall not die. Yes. Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. Mother says, yes, I believe mm -hmm. that you are the Christ who has come into the world and lives. And Jesus follows her into the house. Mm -hmm. Jesus meets the sister. Jesus didn't even talk to the sister. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, as he's going towards the tomb, where have you laid him? He's going towards the tomb. He meets the Jews, the mourners. See, this man, could he not have kept him from dying? Yeah. Are you getting? Mm. That's the level of their perception. Mm. And that is why mm -hmm. he says, I am glad for your sake. Yeah. Because he wants also mm -hmm. to change the perception of the disciples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you understand why. This entire story, mm. by the way, the entire story is about one man, Lazarus, and how he was raised from the dead. Mm. The rest are the intrigues of the spectators. Mm. <laughs> and the people who are observing the mm. struggles mm -hmm. they were going through mm. to come to that place. Mm. So what happens? Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus says... Mm. He's going to the tomb and got in there and says, remove the stone. Mm. It's the time for the miracle to happen. Mm -hmm. Remove the stone. Mm. Martha, the one who said, I believe you are the Christ. Mm. It's not even Mary. At least if Mary had said, uh, uh, he's smelling. Dude. Then you would say, okay, Mary, Jesus did not, not teach to Mary. Yes. Or to the Jews. Mm. But now, mother, mm. the same one <laughs> That Jesus had told, mm -hmm. I am the resurrection and the life. life yes. He who believes in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you getting? Yes. So even the people in the Bible, by mm -hmm. the way, mm -hmm. that's why we go through the Bible. Mm -hmm. They had 
struggles. those struggles goals. that people even have now. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Are you getting? Anyway, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> says he's smelling. Mm -hmm. He's been dead four days. Verse mm -hmm. 40, Jesus said to her, did I not say to you? So mm -hmm. Jesus is repeating, mother, did I not say to you mm -hmm. that if you would believe, you, you would see, see the, the glory, glory of God? God. Mm -hmm. Okay? I told you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So repeat, it brings mm -hmm. Martha back mm -hmm. to the place of believing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. And then they took away the stone mm -hmm. from the place where the dead man was lying. Yes. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, mm -hmm. I thank you that you have heard me. And I know mm -hmm. that you always hear me. Mm -hmm. But because of the people mm -hmm. who are standing by, who are the people who are standing by? Uh, of course, the disciples are standing. It's disciples. And these Jews that were speaking, the ones who are saying, if this man who opened the eyes of the blind, would he have not kept this man from dying? Jews. And then we have Mary. Then Mary. A mother, and I yeah. believe other members of the family who had come to move. Whoever else mm. was there. Mm. He says, yeah, mm. but because of the people mm. who are standing by, mm -hmm. I said this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they may believe that mm -hmm. you sent me. Mm. So he's doing this mm. for the benefit of his disciples, mm. Mary, Martha, Jews, mm. and whoever else might be around. Mm. Okay, that's included in the Jews. Mm. Okay, he's praying for their benefit. Mm -hmm. Because every one of them, the disciples, Mary, Martha, Jews, they all need to believe. All of them. And their level of believing mm -hmm. needs to go to that level where Christ, all right? Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says, now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Mm -hmm. And he who had died came out bound hand mm -hmm. and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth, and Jesus said, lose him mm -hmm. and let him go. Mm -hmm. Then many... All right, mm. of the Jews who had come to Mary. Do you remember these guys who were saying mm -hmm. he opened the eyes of the blind? Mm. Could he not uh, keep him from dying? Mm. Okay, these are the Jews now. Many, eh? some, mm -hmm. it's, uh, many of the Jews who, who had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did. Did what? Mm -hmm. Can you read that, verse 45? Verse 45, the Bible says that men, then many of the Jews who had come who had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did, believed in him. You get? Mm -hmm. So that is where this story mm -hmm. is bringing us. Mm. And that is where the goal of this story mm. is to bring the Jews, yeah. all right, mm -hmm. the disciples mm -hmm. and Mary mm -hmm. to the place of believing. And that is why we are talking here, yeah, persuasion. I like the way you're projecting and, and, and that's persuasion. Persuasion, mm. conviction, mm. a place of knowing mm. Who this is. <laughs> yes. You get? Yeah. So that is why we are calling this topic, mm -hmm. believe, mm -hmm. be persuaded about Christ, mm -hmm. be convinced mm -hmm. about Christ and who he is. Mm -hmm. But some of them went away to the Pharisees and mm -hmm. told them mm -hmm. the things Jesus did. Yeah. So they saw it happen. They saw Lazarus coming from the cave, hoping mm -hmm. a man dead for days. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. And instead of worshipping Jesus, <laughs> are you getting? It's amazing. It comforts you to know that now it's not just begun. It's, it's not. It has been there for it's a while. It's been there. <laughs> they leave the place. After seeing the miracle. After seeing that miracle. And tie him and mm. lose him and let him go. Mm. He's loosed. Yes. And they see his alive query. It's truly his Lazarus. Yes. So what they do they do? Mm. They go to tell the Pharisees. Now this is where we finish. Mm. Then the, the, the chief priests and the Pharisees mm. gathered a council and said, What, what shall, shall we, we do? For this mm. man works many signs. If we let him alone like this, Everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and nation. So their fear mm. and their concern was 
people believe in Christ. Mm. So this man, if he continues like this, mm -hmm. people will believe. Mm. Of course, there are those who have believed. Mm. But he says, everyone yeah. will believe in him. Mm -hmm. So you find mm -hmm. Christ mm -hmm. is bringing people to the place of belief. Mm -hmm. Religion is trying to keep people from believing. And that is why mm -hmm. you find some people saying there are no miracles. Are they bringing people to a place of believing or a place of not believing? Mm -hmm. Say the days of miracles are gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, people don't get healed. You know, you find people out there who say they are Christians mm -hmm. and they are believers, but they they are they are Guinness miracles, healings, mm -hmm. and so you wonder. Okay, you would you like people to believe there is mm -hmm. healing and mm -hmm. miracles mm -hmm. or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it brings us as we close mm -hmm. to one very important question, mm -hmm. because Mary said, mm -hmm. "I believe." Yeah. That you are the Christ, yes. the Son of the Living God, mm. who is to come yeah. into the world. Mm. What did she believe this Christ can do and not do? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when that the Christ, she had just confessed, we believe you are the Christ. Mm -hmm. But when the Christ said, "Open the tomb," she said, "He is there's a stench. There is a stench." Mm. Yeah. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. So she didn't believe that God can do something about that stench, mm. about what's going on in, in the tomb. Mm -hmm. But she said, I believe. And this is mm -hmm. the, the issue with many. She said, so you believe in Christ. But what did you believe? What do you believe that Christ can do? Yes. Or Christ has done. Mm -hmm. You believe he came and died on the cross. Mm. He shed his blood. But what did you be, do you believe? Eh? He mm. has, with all that, the shedding of the blood, dying, the resurrection, mm. has accomplished in your life mm. or for you. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Mm. So that's the challenge I see, mm -hmm. all right, that people have uh, intellectual acceptance of God. Yes. But the belief and conviction mm -hmm. of what he can really do. Mm. And who he really is mm. is wanting Very and wanting. is lacking, and just like this, mm -hmm. you see. But the Bible says here, there are those who believed. There are those, yeah. Many believed. Many the Jews, mm. but some did not. Mm. So the fear of the Pharisees, which, which was the religious system, mm -hmm. was that people will believe. Mm. So you wonder, okay, if somebody can be raised from the dead in four days after four days. Mm. Shouldn't people believe that? They should. You get. Mm. So their worry is, if this man continues like this, instead of rushing to Christ and, and telling Christ, well, how come you're performing miracle? Who are you? Mm. Are you the one we've been waiting for? Mm. You get. Mm. So the problem is, the reason why they did, they did not receive Christ mm -hmm. Is because they did not believe in him. That's what they missed. Yeah, they missed. They missed. Yeah. It's amazing. And by so doing, they mm -hmm. kept the whole of Israel. They made the whole of Israel miss. That's why Jesus referred to them as whitewashed tombs. Why did these people mm -hmm. who are in La in Bethany, mm -hmm. when they saw that miracle, why did they rush to the Pharisees? Because they knew the Pharisees mm. had a problem with Christ. Yes. And you see, if you look the, where the Bible says, but some, meaning these ones, even after seeing the miracle, they didn't believe. They were not convinced. They were not convinced. All right. Yeah. So what did they tell the, the Pharisees? Is it a mm. fake miracle? I don't know. Or what? But you see now, this, you see now, honey, here, when you see, what shall we do? For this man works many signs. So they were not against the signs. They acknowledged that this man did Many signs, they knew he, he did them, mm. but they did not like that. They fact. don't. They didn't. They didn't. They did not like fa the, the fact facts. that Jesus mm. healed the sick and performed the miracles. No. And why didn't they like that? Mm. It's because people would believe. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Mm. It's been so interesting to look at that. You know, sometimes, you know, and as I'm talking to you, I'm also asking myself, Lord, 
what is it that i believe you can do mm. yeah how what's the perception yes or what's the level of my believing mm. all right mm. and that is why the disciples cried at some point they mm-hmm. said to him help our unbelief mm-hmm. help my unbelief this mm-hmm. is not the disciples is this man mm. who brought the son he says help my unbelief mm. because we need to be convinced about our god oh, we, have to. we need to be persuaded about christ mm. what christ can do and that's our challenge and that's our prayer today mm. let me say a prayer father in the name of jesus christ help us to see you to be persuaded to mm. be convinced to know the things that you have done and accomplished for us through jesus christ mm. and to be fully persuaded like your friend abraham mm. who wavered not in unbelief mm. but he was fully persuaded and convinced mm-hmm. of the words that you had spoken mm. that is what we desire lord today mm. in jesus name father therefore i pray for my viewer that if there are issues that they are going through in their life mm. there are challenges that they are facing sickness financial family and others that they will see you Mm. as the one that is able to do all things that with you nothing mm-hmm. is impossible mm-hmm. and that they will accept that miracle and mm-hmm. receive that miracle mm-hmm. and enjoy the fruit of that miracle mm-hmm. because they have believed in you mm-hmm. father i thank you and i honor you mm-hmm. in jesus name if you are there and you are not born again repeat after me say lord jesus mm-hmm. i believe that you are the savior mm-hmm. i believe that you are my deliverer i believe you died to save me and right now i receive forgiveness mm-hmm. i receive eternal life mm. and i receive you as my savior and as my lord mm. from this day forward mm-hmm. if you pray that prayer there are numbers at the bottom of your screen so that you can get in touch with us let us know what christ has done in jesus name mm-hmm. until next time it's me pastor morris mm. and pastor pauline and please remember mm-hmm. there is a number at the bottom of your screen so that you can be a partner together with us in this program and god is going to bless you please send us an offering pay your tithe if 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 you're a member and you know uh, you believe in paying tithe you know you should so please uh, uh, send it to that number and god is going to bless you thank you so much until next time good night god, good night jesus christ my name is pastor morris gashero senior pastor jubilee christian church thika road and this is gospel talk where we get to discuss the gospel of jesus christ in a way that is plain and understandable there are not two ways of becoming righteous the only acceptable righteousness before god now is the righteousness he gives and the bible says thy righteousness are as filthy rags the gospel of jesus christ is called good news so our bodies receive life from the spirit